Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I want to show you the blog template of Microsoft Word 2016. And what's interesting about this blog post template is that when you actually create a blog post in Microsoft Word, which we'll do right now, it actually gives you a new tab, the blog post tab, where you can publish to your blogs directly from Microsoft Word. Now, how this works is, of course, you have to actually connect Microsoft Word to your blog account in order for that to work. You see it just pops up. Uh, basically prompting me to register a blog account. So if we were to hit register now, and if you hit register later and went up to publish, it would let you know again to do this. If we hit register now, we get the ability to choose uh, one of a few different blog providers. You got some of the major ones here, including WordPress and Blogger. WordPress is especially huge. Unfortunately, I didn't see uh, Tumblr on there, but there may be a way to do that. Um, but at least for these ones, what you would do is let's say we were trying blogger no let's do wordpress you would select it from the list hit next and then you can basically just fill in the blog post url basically what is your blog address for wordpress this would either be your domain name.com or um, your subdomain for wordpress.com so it would be like christtutorials.wordpress.com and that's only if you have your site hosted on uh, WordPress for free. So for instance we would put in christtutorials.wordpress.com not a real website but you get the idea and then you would fill in the same username that you log in to actually write blog posts on that account. So for instance if I had an account that was uh, well let's say Chris Tutorials and then blah 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 for the password You'd hit OK, it would connect to the account, and then whenever you went ahead and hit publish here, it would allow you to publish straight to your blog whatever you had typed in this uh, body area. Now, uh, there's one more thing to note here, and that is picture options. When you're uploading your blog posts, you may include pictures inside of your blog as well. So if you have pictures, you can either choose my blog provider, which would mean that the pictures are going to get uploaded to the same place, if possible, um, as your blog itself. So if we add, say, chrisstutorials.com, not a real website, um, yeah, at least, then we could choose my blog provider and it would put the pictures on um, that server. Or, well, rather in this case, um, it would be wordpress.com. Um, you can also upload them to your own server so you can have them in a different location or you could choose not to upload the pictures. Anyway, uh, once you have the correct information, you'd hit OK and it would try to connect with your site. If, if all the credentials check out, if you got the right blog post URL, then you would be good to go. It would say, OK, you're all connected and then you can just start publishing blog posts. Now, um, when you're actually writing the blog posts in Microsoft Word 2016, really the main difference here between a regular just blank document and the blog post type is that it gives you a title area for the blog post. So if you want to set the title, you would just type it up here, blog post title, and then that's going to be whatever shows as the title within your actual blog. Then you can just start going away um, typing in your body paragraph. If you're doing WordPress or basically any other blogging platform, you may have to go later on and add tags and that sort of thing to it. But this can at least get your information up on the web and published without you having to really open up a web browser or anything like that. So that's the gist of the blog template inside of Microsoft Word 2016. I hope you found this cool or interesting or even helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know down below, and I will see you in my next video.